Welcome to Season 7 of High School Quiz Show Maine. Once again, we have 16 schools from across the state competing to be this year's champion and take home the $1,000 prize for their school's project graduation. In our third qualifying match, it's the Dragons of Brunswick High School. Taking on the Black Bears of Moranacook Community High School. That's coming up next on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. People who can work from home seem to love it. Who else loves it? Cyber criminals. Cyber coverage from Safety Insurance covers data and system restoration, data recreation, and more. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms and by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to season seven of High School Quiz Show Maine. I'm your host, Todd Guttner. We have 12 schools left in this year's quest to be the season seven champion and take home the $1,000 grand prize for their school's project graduation. In our third match, we have a veteran team taking on a newcomer. The Dragons of Brunswick High School are making their fifth appearance as they take on the Black Bears of Moranacook Community High School in Reedfield and their first time on the show. Let's get things going by meeting the teams. For Brunswick, we have Maya, Ben, Alexi, and Leo with alternate Wes and coached by Phoebe Hopkins and Nate Wayne. And for Moranacook, we have Carter, Silas, Arlie, Sawyer with alternate Maddie and coached by Rachel Smith. The competition has three rounds, the toss-up round, the category round, and that fun lightning round. We'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players must wait for me to complete the question, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer. All right, is everybody ready? Take a deep, whoa, if we are ready over here at Brunswick. Miranda, can you top that, please? All right, that's a little better. Let's get started with round one. Here's the first question. Which river that originates in Peru and flows through Brazil takes its name from a mythical race of women warriors? Carter Moranico. Amazon. Amazon is right. Next question. Chris Pine stars as Edgin Darvis in a 2023 film based on which fantasy tabletop role playing game? Uh, this will be Ben Brunswick. Dungeons and Dragons. You got it. What's Love Got to Do With It is a 1993 biographical movie about which singer who died in 2023 at the age of 83? Oh, come on, guys. Tina Turner. She's one of the greatest ever. All right, we'll move on. Spanish, for the boy. What name is given to disruptive weather patterns that arise from unusually warm temperatures in the Pacific Ocean? Carter Marina Cook. El Nino. El Nino is right. Up next, we have a picture question. Take a look at the monitor over here. Name this inventor and entrepreneur often credited with revolutionizing the personal computer industry amongst other achievements in the tech sector. Uh, Sawyer, Moranico. Steve Jobs. Yes, Steve Jobs. What five letter prefix that means old or ancient is also the name for an eating plan based on the diet of prehistoric hunter-gatherer civilizations? Maya, Brunswick? Keto? Uh, no. Keto's incorrect. Miranda Cook, you want to take a shot? <laughs> Paleo. Paleo. Maya's upset with herself. <laughs> we'll go on. Yeah, Which mountain in Maine's Baxter State Park is the northern trailhead of the Appalachian Trail? <laughs> Carter, Miranda Cook. Mount Katahdin. Katahdin is right. In 2022, researchers at Cornell University sequenced the genome of the Honeycrisp variety of which fruit? Uh, Silas, Miranda Cook. Apple. Apple is also right. Next question. 
An EGOT winner, like John Legend or Whoopi Goldberg, is a person who has won an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and which theater award? <laughs> Carter Moranico. Tony. Tony is also right. Next up, we have a video question. Once again, the monitor. Hello. My name is Joshua Chard, and I am the 2024 Maine Teacher of the Year. And today's video question category is classical music. Which 20th century Russian composer, known for his ballet and orchestral works, composed The Rite of Spring? Sawyer Marinikuk. Tchaikovsky. Uh, that's incorrect. Brunswick? You want to take a shot? Go ahead, Alexei. Stravinsky. Stravinsky is the right answer. Good job. What French term that means stroke of state refers to a sudden overthrow of a government by a small group of people? Sawyer, Miranda Cook. Coup d'etat. Yeah, you redeemed yourself down there, Sawyer. Two companies that have been in the news since 2020 are Dominion and Smartmatic, both of which manufacture technology to be used for what purpose? Go ahead, Ben. Voting. Voting is right. What seven-letter word is the medical synonym for the skull, specifically the part of the skull that encases the brain? Sawyer. Cranium. Cranium, yes. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, one teaspoon of granulated white sugar contains how many calories? Eight, 16, or 32? Uh, Carter, Miranda Cook. 32. That's incorrect. Brunswick. Go ahead, Maya. 16. 16 is the right answer. All right, we have a math question now. There should be a pencil and paper there, so get it ready. If one side of a square measures 87 centimeters, what is the length of its perimeter? Carter, Marina Cook? Um, so 300, or 354. Uh, that's incorrect. Brunswick. Maya. 348. That is the correct answer. That is the correct answer. All right, we'll go on here. Edward Estelin are the first and middle names of which 20th century American poet who preferred to write his name and his poetry without using capital letters? The answer is E.E. E. Cummings. E.E. E. Cummings. The name of which state in southeastern Australia is abbreviated NSW? Ben Brunswick. New South Wales. That's right. In the world of toys, Addie Walker, Sage Copeland, and Kit Kittredge are part of what line of products? Ben? American Girl Doll. You nailed it again. The expression, mad as a hatter, comes from the 18th century when what toxic element was used in the process of making felt for hats? Arlie, Marina Cook. Mercury. We'll take it. Mercury is right. Which border crossing, where people could transit between East and West Berlin during the Cold War, was the site of a standoff between American and Russian soldiers in 1961? Carter, Marina Cook. The Berlin Wall. Uh, incorrect. Go ahead, Alexi. Checkpoint Charlie. You nailed it. Checkpoint Charlie. All right, uh, this is a multiple choice question. The equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared is most often used to find which of these values? Circumference of a circle, length of the hypotenuse of a right triangle, or volume of a cylinder? Carter, Marina Cook. Length of a hypotenuse of a right triangle. You got it. Nice job. A 1938 painting called Self-Portrait with Monkey shows what Mexican artist with her pet monkey, Fulong Chong? Uh, Leo. Frida Kahlo. You got it. Frida Kahlo. Uh, what organelles in a cell contain digestive enzymes that can destroy invading bacteria or, if necessary, cause a cell to literally self-destruct? Alexi. Lysosomes. You nailed that, too. All right, math question. Second one of the round. Last one of the round, too. Uh, the total bill for dinner at a restaurant comes to $83. To give your server a 20% tip, how much money should you add to the total bill? Go ahead, Carter. Uh, six, what? 16.6. Yeah, we'll take that. $16.60, that's right. <laughs> Introduced in Congress by Representative Dusty Johnson of South Dakota, the proposed Keep nine amendment refers to limiting the total number in what group of people to nine? Ben Brunswick. The Supreme Court. Yep, that's right. What liquefied petroleum gas with the chemical formula C3H8 is commonly used to fuel household generators, stoves, and barbecue grills? 
Go ahead, Ben. Propane. Propane, yes. The Miraflores and Gatun locks are transition points on which man-made body of water? Alexi. The Panama Canal. That is right. Forward is the title of a memoir by what soccer forward who is the all-time leading goal scorer for the U.S. women's national soccer team? Go ahead, Carter. Megan Rapino. Uh, that's incorrect. Brunswick? Ben? Alex Morgan. Those are both good guesses. It's Abby Wambach. Abby Wambach. An insect's body is divided into three parts, the head, the abdomen, and what segmented midsection where the legs are attached? Sawyer, Miranda Cook. Thorax. Yes, that's right. Friedrich Nietzsche is most closely associated with what philosophy of nothingness? Uh, Alexi. Nihilism. Nihilism is right. And that's the end of round one. We have a real close match here. Brunswick 140, Miranda Cook 120. Lots more to come. Don't go anywhere. We'll meet the players when we get back. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by... Hey, how are you doing today? The Maine Education Association does a fantastic job of giving us a voice. So what do you think? Good manners. To help teachers and students realize that people support them every day. The MEA helps me be better at my job. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Before we head to the category round, we like to pause and get to know our players with a slightly silly question. It is, which cartoon character would you want to take a cross-country drive with and why? All right, this should be fun. We'll begin with uh, Maya over here with Brunswick. Um, I'm going to have to say Maya the Bee. I don't watch many cartoons, but she looks happy, and I'd love to meet my namesake. Yeah, and you seem really happy and fun to be around, right? <laughs> Let's go to Ben. Go ahead, Ben. Uh, you know, Todd, I'm going to have to go with my man, Woodstock, from Peanuts. Oh. Yeah, he just seems like a very chill, laid-back guy. Yeah, he's real classic. I feel like he's got, you know, some good musical taste. We could just be, like, vibing, <laughs> driving, you know what I'm saying? Vibing. Yep. Yeah. You could be vibing. And you'd have an in with Snoopy, probably, too. True. Yeah. That's pretty big. Uh, go ahead, Alexi. Uh, I would just go with Snoopy. I think he's oh. just, he can do almost anything, and he's so carefree. I don't know. He seems like the best travel partner. Yeah, and he's kind of like mischievous and fun, yeah. too. So I don't think there would ever be like a dull moment mm -hmm. if you had Snoopy with you. Go ahead, Leo. I'd have to go with Sensei Wu from Ninjago. He's just. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's really. That's like Lego, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that from my son used to watch that show quite a bit. Yeah, I did too. He's just like a chiller and he's he, he's wise. I think the common thread here, everybody just wants to chill, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. All right, Miranda Cook, your turn. Go ahead, Carter. I would probably do Chris or Martin from the Wildcrats because on a cross-country vacation, it would probably be really great to be able to see all the animals and know yeah, all about that them. Would be, that would be pretty sweet. You're right. Uh, Silas, your turn. I think I'd choose Bugs Bunny because he knows how to make Carter of a light situation. Yep. He's always kind of chill, and he always might have a healthy snack on him. That's right. I mean, you'll never go hungry. I mean, you might turn orange at some point from eating all the carrots, but, you know, it'd be fun. Uh, Arlie, your turn. Um, I would go with Sokka from Avatar The Last Airbender because um, he's funny, he's sarcastic, he's a lovable idiot, and I know I can rely on him for beef jerky. Is, why, is, he, is that his thing? He mm. eats beef jerky? He's the meat and sarcasm guy. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I mean, beef, who doesn't, who, no one's going to turn down beef jerky. Yeah, right? I mean, you need that, you know. Uh, Sawyer, your last one up. Well, uh, i just go with the roadrunner. I mean, he has a lot of experience on the road, True. so I mean... <laughs> You kind of want a veteran. Right. It's like you're, uh, you have your, your built-in ways or MapQuest or whatever it is these days, right? Thank you, Sawyer. Thank you both teams for that. The category round is next, but let's see how well you do with our viewer question of the week. Hi, I'm Alec O'Mara from Unitil, and this is your viewer question of the week. Which favorite main treat, invented around 1872, is said to be named for an Irish traveling preacher? Is it the Needham, Moxie, Humpty Dumpty potato chips, or Cat and Eli's root beer? We'll have the answer coming up later in the show. Next up is the category round with the following choices. Viva Mexico, galactically huge, highly adaptable, shape-shifting, the route to freedom, and I spy. 
Each team will alternate control of two categories. Questions have increasing point values. With each question, they can choose to answer and either gain or lose points, skip and neither gain nor lose points, or once per category, they can toss and force the other team to answer. Players will have five seconds to confer and decide what to do. We're going to begin with Miranda Cook because you trail. What category would you like to start with? I spy. I spy. Okay, so these are questions related to eyes. All right, here's the 10-point question. In the Lord of Rings universe, the great eye is a symbol of what dark lord who rules Mordor? Sauron. Sauron is right. I spy for 15. What aquatic-themed descriptive name is given to an ultra-wide-angle camera lens that captures a 180-degree view of a subject? Fish eye. Fish eye lens is also right. I spy for 20. Periorbital hematoma is a medical term for what bruising injury that might happen to someone in a fist fight? Black eye. Black eye, also right. I spy for 25. In 1982, a band called Survivor had a number one hit with what song that was the theme to the movie Rocky III? Eye of the Tiger. Eye of the Tiger, nice, yes. And the last one with I Spy, Major League Baseball pitcher Max Scherzer is a noteworthy person who was born with heterochromia, a genetic trait that has what effect on the appearance of the eyes? Two different color eyes. That is also right. You swept the category. We're going to go over to Brunswick now. It's your turn to select. Uh, let's do The Route to Freedom. The Route to Freedom. So these are questions about the Underground Railroad. First question. In an 1896 speech, what woman said, I was the conductor of the Underground Railroad for eight years. And I can say what most conductors can't say. I never ran my train off the track, and I never lost a passenger. Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman. That's right. The Route to Freedom for 15. Which 1852 novel by Harriet Beecher Stowe was partly based on stories that formerly enslaved people told her about their experiences on the Underground Railroad? Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uncle Tom's Cabin. That's also right. The Route to Freedom for 20. Which abolitionist and conductor on the Underground Railroad led to the raid on the Harper's Ferry Arsenal in 1859? John Brown. John Brown. John Brown, also right. The Route to Freedom, 25. What to the American slave is your 4th of July? Is a famous line from a speech given in 1852 by which abolitionist whose home in Rochester, New York was a station on the Underground Railroad? Frederick Douglass. Also right. All right, last one in route to freedom. The Underground Railroad became a vital route to freedom for enslaved people after a revision of the Fugitive Slave Act was passed by the U.S. Congress in September of what year? 1850. You guys nailed it. Wow, we've swept two categories now. Let's see if we can keep it going. We're back over to Miranda Cook. What's it going to be, Carter? Galactically huge. Okay, galactically huge. These are questions about the planet Jupiter. The planet Jupiter. Here we go. The largest known storm in our solar system is a gigantic anticyclone located in Jupiter's southern hemisphere. Based on its appearance, astronomers gave it what common three word name? Uh, the red spot. The red spot. Can't take that. Uh, the answer is great red spot. Great red spot. Sorry about that. We'll go on here though. Galactically huge for 15. The atmosphere of Jupiter mainly consists of which gas? The same is true for the atmospheres of Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune also. Carter, I'll need an answer for you. Uh, we're going to skip that one. You want to skip that. Okay, it's hydrogen. Hydrogen. Uh, galactically huge for 20. A NASA mission that's expected to launch in 2024 is intended to explore which moon of Jupiter that might have a liquid ocean beneath its icy surface. Oh, that's not, that's not Enceladus? That's also incorrect. It's Europa. Europa is the uh, moon. Galactically huge for 25. In 2023, the European Space Agency launched a program to explore the icy moons of Jupiter. By what five-letter name is this program known? Does it? 
we're going to toss that one. You want to toss that one. Okay, we're going to go back to Brunswick. I'll read it again. In 2023, the European Space Agency launched a program to explore the icy moons of Jupiter. By what five-letter name is this program known? Do we have to answer? Yeah. yeah. Yes, you answer. do. Uh, what five letters? What were the two from the bus? Something. You want to say anything? Um, Aries. Uh, that's incorrect. It's JUICE, and it stands for Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer. Um, we go back to Miranda Cook to finish up the category, galactically huge for 30. In 1994, a comet broke apart and collided with Jupiter, leaving scars on Jupiter's atmosphere that can still be seen today. What comet was this? Uh, or do you guys want to skip it? Let's skip it. Skip it. You want to skip that? Shoemaker Levy, nine, is the answer. All right, uh, back to Brunswick for your final category. What will it be? Viva Mexico. All right, Viva Mexico. Questions about Mexico. Mexico is by far the world's biggest producer and exporter of what tree crop that is used to make guacamole? Avocados. Avocados. <laughs> yeah, avocados. Viva Mexico, 15. People decorate with marigolds and build small altars to honor the souls of departed friends and family for which Mexican holiday that is observed around November 1st? The Day of the Dead. Also right. Viva Mexico for 20. The area called Las Coloradas on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula is famous for lakes that are what color because of the algae and plankton that live there? Is it blue? Is it all red? Like, red? No. Um, red. Red is right. Good job. Viva Mexico for 25. Established by Hernan Cortez in 1519, the first Spanish settlement in Mexico is known by what name that means true cross in Spanish? Veracruz. Veracruz. Veracruz is correct also. Viva Mexico for 30 in the final one. The stage curtain in the theater at the Palace of Fine Arts in Mexico City was made by Tiffany Studios of New York. From what material that is not commonly used to make curtains? Let's toss this one. I want to toss this to Miranda Cook. I will read it again, Miranda Cook. Here's the question. The stage curtain in the theater at the Palace of Fine Arts in Mexico City was made by Tiffany Studios of New York. From what material that is not commonly used to make curtains? Glass. 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 Okay. Glass? You nailed it. Glass is the right answer, and that wraps up our category round. Right now, we have a score of Brunswick 285, Miranda Cook 220. Sorry, this is a really good match, and everything can change in the lightning round. So sit tight. We'll be right back. How did you do with the question of the week? It was... Which favorite Maine treat, invented around 1872, is said to be named for an Irish traveling preacher? Is it the Needham, Moxie, Humpty Dumpty Potato Chips, or Cat and Eli's Root Beer? The answer is the Needham. The potato-based candy is said to have been named for George Needham, a popular preacher of the time. Okay, here we go. We're heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It's the lightning round. Players, you do not have to wait for me to finish the question. You can buzz in at any time, but do not answer until I call your name. You get 20 points for each correct answer. An incorrect answer will cost you 20 points, and the other team will not get a chance to answer the question. The clock is set. Good luck, both teams. Here we go. What kind of creatures are Kevin, Stuart, and Bob in the movie? Uh, ben Brunswick. Minion. Yes. What inventor was nicknamed the Wizard of Menlo Park? Ben again. Thomas Edison. Again right. Which Greek god of the sea was known to carry Ben? Poseidon. Yes. Wisdom teeth are a third set of what kind of teeth used for... Molar. Uh, Arlie. Yes, molars is correct. What kind of tree produces acorns? Silas. Oak trees. Oak. The fictional Central Perk Coffee House features an... Uh, Carter. Friends. Friends, yes. What queen ruled Spain with her husband, Ferdinand? Go ahead, Ben. Isabella. Isabella. What Italian city is the main setting for Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? Alexi. Verona. Verona, yes. An isosceles triangle has at least how many congruent? Uh, Two. Carter? Two. Two. Yes, that's right. 
What's the name of the protagonist in the novel The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas? Leo. Star. That's right, Star. The U.S. Coast Guard Academy is located in which? Go ahead, Ben. New London. More specifically. New London, Connecticut. That's right, New London, Connecticut. What Broadway musical centers on the kids at Rydell High in 1950s? Jonathan Hansen. Uh, incorrect, it's Grease. A Fender Stratocaster is what type of musical instrument? Gu Silas? A, gu a guitar. Yes, guitar. What two word? Oh, that's the end of the final round, and we have the winning team, Brunswick, 425. Wow. They'll be moving on to the quarterfinals in a few weeks. Our runner-up, Miranda Cook, you guys had 300 points. Thank you both for playing. Congratulations to both teams. Be sure to tune in next time as Wyndham takes on Noble. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. Home renovations can increase the value of your home. Safety Insurance offers a variety of home insurance products to cover your home's increased value. You can ask an independent agent about Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you.